In this video, let's talk about the next property based question which is prove tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. In the previous video, we have already seen how to prove sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and I have already told you in these questions which are proof related questions, you need to remember the result as well because these are basically the formulas only and the theorems only which will be used in the questions. So every time you will not be sitting there and proving it, it is better and advisable to learn it also by heart. Let's get started by solving the proof for this question. Prove tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Let me write down the proof for you people. Right. Let again as in the previous question tan inverse x is equal to theta. That means what? That means tan theta is equal to x. Now tan theta is equal to x, story does not finish here, we'll look at it later. But what about the range and the domain and the interval of theta? So the theta belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 open, this we know already in the case of tan and cot. Also one important thing that if I write it in the form of brackets, I can also write it in the form of less than and greater than. Okay, what else if I add pi by 2, pi by 2 added, pi by 2 added and one more thing that as in the previous question if I substitute it as in theta with minus theta nothing changes, theta with minus theta minus will come here, minus pi by 2's minus pi by 2 will go there and another will come here. So now it is pi by 2 minus pi by 2, then pi by 2 minus theta, then pi by 2 plus pi by 2. For those who are facing problem in this video as if how have I done this, you can watch the previous video first. It is advisable to go through the previous video and then tune to this video. For others who are actually understanding it, a revision, quick revision, what we are doing, we are basically considering thetas range interval as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, replace theta by minus theta and add pi by 2. Now pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is 0, pi by 2 minus theta and it becomes pi. This is same what we did in the previous question if you remember, same steps followed. Now why I am computing pi by 2 minus theta because I know pi by 2 minus theta will be used later. So pi by 2 minus theta will be used, again I have tan theta is equal to x, that means what? That means one more thing that I can write, cot pi by 2 minus x minus theta is equal to x. Why? Because tan theta is basically equal to cot 90 minus theta, this we already know from the previous knowledge, these both things are equivalent. Now cot 90 minus theta is given to me. What about the steps x is equal to cot pi by 2 minus theta? Look at it more closely. If I have cot here, it goes there, it becomes cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta. What else? I can substitute theta as tan inverse x. Yes, I can from equation 1. So from my equation 1, cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse x. Now it is in the minus. I want it in plus. It was in right hand side. Keep it there in left hand side now. So it becomes tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. This is the final step. We wanted to prove it. We have already proved it. The video is very much similar to the previous video. It is just that we are proving tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and we have the interval of pi by 2 minus theta as 0 to pi.